I'm Michael from Tormac and today we're just going to go over a few features on the new T8. Um, so to start us off, the T8 is basically a uh, evolution of the, of the T7. Um, so we've basically just found ways we can upgrade and, and make the machine easy to use for everyone. So, so first things first, you can probably notice here is that there's a, a zinc casting uh, on, on the housing, opposed to being an all steel housing. So with that, we've also got new support bar um, sleeves here as well. Okay. So with the new support bar sleeves, what they've done, obviously it's all integrated into the castings. So it's a lot more uh, precise and accurate from machine to machine. The other thing is that we've tightened this sleeve here closest to the stone um, and el elongated uh, this one over here. So the idea is that they're very nice and easy to slide in and out. And as soon as we lock off this one here, it only has to be finger tight and that'll lock that perfectly square to the stone, providing you've chewed your stone as well. Um, so you've still got your micro adjuster there as well. Okay. The switch is now placed onto the top of the machine. So if you are working from the horizontal position, doing a lot of your turning tools or carving tools, you don't have to reach over to the back of the machine or, or from the, over the vertical position to turn it on and off. It's nice and easy there next to the handle. Um, we've also taken away the sticker or the label from the front here. Um, and we've actually embossed uh, all your stone measurements here as well. So nice and easy to read, nice and clear. Also, you'll notice here with the zinc housing as well, take this off there. we've also upgraded the drive shaft, so that's also now cast zinc as well. The other big difference on the, T, on the T8 is the new water trough system. So previously on the T7, when you're dropping the trough down at night, um, when you weren't using the stone, so the stone's not sitting in the water, you, know, you sometimes spill a little bit of water over the bench and, and get a little bit untidy. So now we've got a dial at the back there, so we can actually dial this up and down to suit the stone size and, and where. Okay, so that makes that a lot tidier as well. Another feature on the uh, tray as well is we previously had a magnet on the T7 which would take all the steel filings uh, and keep them nice and tidy and away from the stone. Um, Again, used to be a little bit difficult to, to, uh, to clean up. So what we do is we've got a scraper here, and when we release this scraper, it's actually got a magnet there as well. So those steel filings will fall into the tray and you can clean them out first go. Um, other than that, your support bar is still the same size, drive shaft, things like that. So if you, if you do have all your jigs already for the T7, um, they will all integrately work onto the T8. Um, so whether it be the drill bit sharpener, planer blade jig, it'll all work straight onto this as well for you. Just going back to that water trough there as well, they've also tapered off the edges of the housing here and there's also a lip down beside the stone. So if, you do, if you're doing knives, planer, uh, you know, thickness of blades, rather than having water sitting on the top here and eventually ending up on your bench, it will slide down into the trough as well to keep that a little bit tidier there too. So with the T8, you also get your, your same jigs as you used to previously get with the T7, uh, or if you're, you're a new Toolmac user, um, I'll just go through some of them for you. So your honing paste for your leather honing wheel, okay? Um, so that acts as a uh, polishing agent and lubricant when you're honing your, your tools. Uh, we've also got our angle setter, so that'll set most of the angles on, um, all your angles on knives, scissors, axes, plane irons, chisels. Uh, your stone grater, so the stone grater will change the composition of the actual stone uh, between 220 grit and 1000 grit. Your diamond tip truing tool, so that trues the stone to make sure that you maintain that it's parallel with the support bar, so all your chisels come out square. Uh, now there has been an upgrade to the square edge jig, so this is for plane irons and chisels and this is the new SE77, so this will do up to 77mm plane irons and chisels, uh, but there's actually now an adjustment on here, okay, so we can actually put a camber on some of our chisels as well, rather than just having a square finish, so you don't have to go away to another system and finish that off. Um, also you've got your, all your warranties, your handbook, so the handbook will go through um, basically all your optimal angles for tools, um, basically how to set up the machine and get the most out of it as well. Um, and we've also got a DVD in there for you as well. Um, and your complimentary band-aids if you're a previous Tormac customer, most people end up using them. So other than that, they've really upgraded the machine to make it as easy as possible to use uh, and user-friendly. Um, 
The features and benefits of the machine are still the same. It's, it's, it's quick and easy, uh, it's risk free, there's no heat used in the process. We can duplicate and replicate the exact same grind each and every time on all your edge tools, uh, whether it be wood turning tools, hand tools, knives, scissors, axes, plain irons, jigs, drill bits. Uh, but if you'd like to know a little bit more, um, if you check the Carbotex website, we regularly do install demonstrations and we'd be happy to answer any questions for you. Uh, stay sharp.